No, thank you. No. No, no. No. Esto aquí. Venga, ponga un poquito. ¿Qué quiere? Sí. ¿Quiere un poquito de agua? Sí, el amo. Charles Darwin. Sí, yeah. sí, sí. Captain Fitzroy. Sí, sí, Me sí. Me soy naturalista. Es hey, hueso. Hueso, Boom. hueso. A flood washed down part of a bank of earth. Mi hijo le pegó con una piedra y le sacó los dientes. Por eso que se caí tan afuera. It was perfect, but the boys knocked out some of the teeth throwing stones at it. How much? Quanto costa? I wonder why these creatures no longer exist. Perhaps the ark was too small to allow them entry and they perished in the flood. <laughs> what is there to laugh at? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Do you mock me or the Bible? Oh, neither. What sort of clergyman will you be, Mr. Darwin? Dreadful. Dreadful. And God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life, and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. And God created great whales, and every living creature that moveth. Hello. Which the waters brought forth what are you doing here? Why such beauty when no one can see? And every winged fowl after his kind. You can't have been blown here. And God saw that it was good. If I were to give a prize for the single best idea anybody ever had, I'd give it to Darwin for the idea of natural selection. Ahead of Newton, ahead of Einstein, because his idea unites the two most disparate features of our universe. The world of purposeless, meaningless matter in motion on the one side, and the world of meaning and purpose and design on the other. He understood that what he was proposing was a truly revolutionary idea. The Darwinian revolution is about who we are, it's what we're made of, it's what our life means insofar as science can answer that question. So it, in many ways, was the singularly deepest and most discombobulating of all discoveries that science has ever made. In Darwin's day, the idea of evolution was regarded as highly unorthodox because it went against all of natural history in Great Britain. It jeopardized the standing of science. It did jeopardize the standing of a stable society, the Bible, and the church as well. Darwin kept his thoughts to himself for many years and agonized over the problem. If it ever got out that he was doing something that ran slap counter to established science, it would ruin his career, ruin his reputation. He was a respectable man with a dangerous theory.